You guys absolutely loved my video on secret apps that you can't find in the Play Store. So here are six more of my favorite secret Android apps. The Instagram app for Android is pretty darn good, but there are a few things that are missing and OG Insta looks to solve that. This looks and feels exactly like the stock Instagram app with a couple of extra features. The first cool feature is the ability to click on a post and then pinch to zoom in and out of the content. And the second thing this lets you do is download photos and videos straight from Instagram. If you do use Instagram a lot, this is an app that you definitely need to try out. Next up we have Lucky Patcher, and this will work on a non-rooted phone, but if you are rooted it will give you a couple of extra features, like the ability to add block in specific apps. However, if you've got the unrooted version, this is still pretty powerful. You can use this to extract APKs of apps that you've downloaded on your phone. As well as this, you can also clone applications if you want to be able to use multiple accounts. You can also remove selected saved purchases, and you can back up all the APKs on your phone directly to your SD card. GMT Launcher used to be one of the most popular rooted apps that you could get for your smartphone. Now, however, you don't need to be rooted, but you won't find it on the Play Store. This allows you to access a completely customizable semicircle of shortcuts. You can set these to function like soft keys, or you can use them as application shortcuts, and you can completely customize how they look and how you interact with them. If you've got hardware keys on your phone that are no longer working, this is a great way to replace them, and it's a great way to be able to access your applications really quickly. Next up we have F-Droid, and this will allow you to download different applications and a lot of them aren't available on the Play Store. So for example, this system app mover that you can download allows you to get rid of bloatware on your phone, and you can make any app you want a system app which allows you to give them more privileges. And another cool thing F-Droid allows you to do is install older versions of an app. This is really useful if the newest version doesn't work on whatever phone you're running, so if you are having issues with app compatibility, F-Droid might be a good way to fix that. Next up we have Humble Bundle, and this allows you to access content that you've bought through Humble Bundle. If you go to the Humble Bundle website, you can buy a group of apps for however much you want. So if you want to pay virtually nothing for it, you can, but if you want to pay more, you can as well. And the majority of your money goes straight to charity. Exposed is probably the most powerful root app you can use, and yes, this does require root, but I'm including it on this list because it really is one of my favorite apps of all time. This will allow you to download thousands of different modules to your phone for free and these modules will let you tweak stuff that you normally need to install a custom ROM to achieve. So for example, I have a module on my Nexus 5 which makes it look like it's running Android Nougat, even though it's running Android 6.0. Then there's Boot Manager, which lets me choose which apps launch when I boot my phone. And then another one of my favorites is Battery Home Icon, which will let you change your home bar into a dynamic moving battery indicator. If you are running a rooted phone, it's definitely worth installing Exposed. It's one of the most powerful Android apps you can use, and it really is the first app that I install when I root my phone. So there you are guys, those are six more Android apps that you won't find on the Play Store. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.